Right then, Mom. Oh, <laughs> hello! Hello! <laughs> Are you ready to play the game, Pom? Yes. You have to listen very carefully to what I say, and then you have to copy me. Oh. Okay. Uh, Flurry says, wiggle your arms. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Flory says, stamp your feet. Oh. Stamp, 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 stamp. <laughs> uh, Okay, uh, Flory says, scratch your nose. <laughs> Got you, Pom. I didn't scratch my nose. Oh, uh, a Pom like scratching nose. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Uh, Flory says, follow me. <laughs>
squeak it. <laughs> Here's something else that squeaks. <laughs> That's right, it's the dog's squeaky toy. <laughs> the dog's squeaky toy makes a squeaky squeaky noise, a squeaky squeaky noise, a squeaky squeaky noise. The dog's squeaky toy makes a squeaky squeaky noise, squeak, squeak, squeak. Song, Bessie. Ah, sing, sing! <laughs> <laughs> Lots of things make a funny, funny noise. A funny, funny noise. A funny, funny noise. Lots of things make a funny, funny noise. And this is how they do it. <laughs> oh, oh, I go. <laughs> the little toy mouse makes a squeaky, squeaky noise. A squeaky, squeaky noise. A squeaky, squeaky noise. The little toy mouse makes a squeaky, squeaky noise. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, 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 come on, Paul. Hi. 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 Paul Hi. sitting down makes a squeaky, squeaky noise. A squeaky, squeaky noise. A squeaky, squeaky noise. Paul sitting down makes a squeaky, squeaky noise. Squeak, squeak, squeak. A floppy sitting down makes a squeaky, squeaky noise. A squeaky, squeaky noise. A squeaky, squeaky noise. Flowey sitting down makes a squeaky, squeaky noise. A squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> oh, let's go and show Fimbo the squeaky mouth. Ha, find Fimbo. Fimbo! Oh. <laughs> Whee! 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 Look, there's Rocket. Let's play a trick on him. <laughs> Boing wee Boing wee Boing hoo-hoo! <laughs> oh, hello, Rocket. We've brought someone to meet you. Yes, we have. Oh, goody, goody. I'm always happy to meet someone new. Boing. <laughs> hello there. My name is Rocket. I am the Jumping Frog. <laughs> uh, can you jump, little mouse? <laughs> cool. You are the squeaking mouse. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find Fimbo now. Uh, see you later. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> I am the squeaking frog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye. Oh, bye, Rocket. Bye, bye. bye. <laughs> squeak, squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Show Ribble our squeaky mouth. <laughs> oh, hello, Ribble. Hello, Ribble. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, oh, well done, Ribble. Oh, Ribble, clever. Oh, we're going to find Thimbo now. Bye, Ribble. Oh, here comes Bimbo now. <laughs> Hello, Flory. <laughs> Hello, Pun. <laughs> um, did you hear a squeaking sound? I'm sure I heard something squeaking. It went. <gasps> yes, Pum, it did. So you heard it too. <laughs> Oh, oh, we've been playing Flory Says. Would you like to play too, Fimbo? Oh, uh, yes, please. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've been having lots of fun, haven't we, Pom? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you ready, Fimbo? Uh, yes. Right. Flory Says, nod your head. <laughs> nod, nod, nod. <laughs> uh, Flory Says, Clap your hands. Oh, yeah. Clap, 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 <laughs> clap, <and> clap. <laughs> uh, Flory says, um, oh, oh, uh, oh, sit down. <laughs> oh, oh, um, oh, 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 oh
Oh, is it that? It's a, a squeaky tuffet. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> that was the squeaky sound I heard. <laughs> well, it sounds like someone's having fun. <laughs> Goodness me! Oh, what are you saying, Pom? A fimbo squeak! <laughs> fimbo squeaking? Oh, I'm sure Fimbo doesn't squeak. <laughs> no, I don't, but this Tuffet does. Listen! <gasps> well, I never. It sounds like a mouse. <laughs> Well, well, a mouse that squeaks, eh? <laughs> that reminds me of a story. <laughs> Dolly, Dolly! Oh, I'll be back in a roly mo. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Boo! Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fimble or two. Oh, now, what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. It's the story time of day. Time to take a break from play. So settle down in your special chair. We'll sit here and you sit there. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Lion and the Mouse. Once upon a time, a tiny little mouse met a great big lion. The little mouse was usually scared of lions, but this time it was different. This lion was asleep. Went the lion. The little mouse jumped onto his great big paw. Went the lion. The little mouse jumped onto the lion's great big mane. The little mouse jumped onto the lion's great big nose. And just then the lion woke up. Ha ha! said the lion. Please let me go, squeaked the mouse. Let me go and one day I'll come back and help you. You? roared the lion. How could a little thing like you help me? <laughs> and the lion laughed so much that the little mouse was able to scamper away. Not long after, some men came to the jungle. They wanted to take the lion away and they tied him up with some ropes. They left him there while they went to have their tea. The lion roared, and he wriggled, and he jiggled, but he couldn't undo the ropes. The little mouse had seen what had happened. Quietly, she began to nibble at the ropes. She nibbled and she gnawed, until the lion was able to get one paw free, and then the other. Soon the lion threw off all the ropes. Shake my paw, little mouse! He said, I was wrong to laugh at you for being small. You saved me. Thank you. The little mouse and the great big lion shook paws, and from that day on, they were the best of friends. Ah. Did you enjoy that, little mouse? <laughs> same, same. <laughs> Come on, little mouse. <laughs> A little toy mouse makes a squeaky, squeaky noise. A squeaky, squeaky noise. A squeaky, squeaky noise. The little toy mouse makes a squeaky, squeaky noise. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Tinkle, 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 tinkle
this and did this. <laughs> Crumble crackers make a crunchy, crunchy noise. A crunchy, crunchy noise. A crunchy, crunchy noise. Crumble crackers make a crunchy, crunchy noise. Crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of things make a funny, funny noise. A funny, funny noise. A funny, funny noise. Lots of things make a funny, funny noise. And this is how they do it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> a pump hugger symbol. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> <laughs> at Uncle Rubley's tonight. <coughs> Look, I brought my things in my rucksack. Let's go and find Uncle Rowley. Ready? Then off we go! <laughs> 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 oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just tidying up before little Bo gets here. Hello, Uncle Rowley. Oh, oh, hello there, little Bo. I was just tidying up the bedroom before your sleepover. sleepover. <laughs> oh. Look. <clears throat> I've got everything I need, Uncle Rolly. I've got my toothbrush. Oh, and you've got your toothpaste. <gasps> yes. I've got my soap. Ooh. Ooh, and, uh, what's this? Oh, that's my sponge. That goes with the soap. Oh, and who do these go with? <laughs> they go with me. Thank you, Uncle Rolly. There. Now I've got everything I need for my sleepover. Ah, there's just one thing missing. What's that, Uncle Rolly? You go and me go. <gasps> I'll go and find them now. Back in a roly bow. <laughs> you go! Me go! We, we go! go! Amigo! Let's a go, go! go! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you go high, me go low! Well, hey! Why we're bouncing, nobody knows. <laughs> Be careful. You don't want to fall off. <laughs> oh. Oh. What's this? That's my sponge. It goes with... Toothpaste? No. You don't brush your teeth with a sponge. My sponge goes with my soap. Uh, where's the soap? Um... It is. Oh, no. You've muddled everything up with all your bouncing. Sorry, little Bo. Let's put everything back together again. <laughs> now, what does the toothbrush go with? Uh, the soap? <laughs> no, silly. You don't brush your teeth with soap either. <laughs> It'd be all bubbly wobbly. <laughs> Let's have a look in my busy book. It's got lots of things that go together. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Flory! What are we going to do today, Flory? Look, that's a toothbrush. And some toothpaste. That's a bar of soap. And some bubbles. And look, the moon. And some stars. Oh, no. They're all muddled up. Shall we put them back together again? What goes with the toothbrush? Toothpaste. The toothpaste goes with the toothbrush. What do bubbles go with? Do stars make bubbles? <laughs> no, they don't. What makes bubbles? Oh, I know. Soap makes bubbles. Now, what goes with the moon? The stars. Stars go with the moon. Oh, look. There's little one. 
Now, who does Little One go with? Little One goes with Flurry. Well done, we did it. They're all back together again. Thank you, Flurry. See you again soon. Let's get into bed now. Uncle Roly will be here in a Roly Mo. I go with Floppy. And I go with Snudge. And Bibby goes with me everywhere. <laughs> Sleepy time now, everyone. Ooh, ooh, I am quite sleepy now, Uncle Roly. I'm not! <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the sparkle bugs bite. <laughs> I wonder what that noise is. <laughs> Let's go and see if Uncle Roly knows what it is. Mm. Ooh. Uncle Roly? Ah, a little bow. Come and look at this. And lots of twinkly stars. Mm. They're beautiful. Just like the stars in the song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Twinkle, twinkle, little star High up in the sky so far When the darkness falls at night You twinkle with your little light Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how we wonder what you are. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are Twinkle, twinkle, little star <sighs> And now, little Bo, it's time for bed. Oh. What's wrong, little Bo? Can't you get to sleep? I heard a funny noise, Uncle Rooley. Did you now? And what kind of funny noise was that? It went like this. <laughs> Oh, I see. Well, you do hear all sorts of funny noises at night. Would you like a bedtime story? Oh, yes, please. Come on, then. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs. A monkey who says boo, boo. Wonderful things, giants and kings. And maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book Who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time To read along with me 
Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. Ooh, I'd like a bedtime story, if you please. Ooh, thank you. Here we are, then. One bedtime story. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. One day, Jip and Jamila were playing in the treetops. They were having fun monkeying around. When suddenly, Jamila heard something strange. Eh! Jip, was that you? She asked. No, he replied. I thought it was you. Then they both heard the noise again. Eh! It might be Baby Elephant, said Jamila. He squeaks when he's feeling shy. It can't be, said Jip. He couldn't climb all the way up here. Eek! Maybe it's Sunil then, said Jamila. He can climb. It's not Sunil, said Jip. He's down there playing with Baby Hippo. Who is it then? asked Jamila. I don't know, said Jip. But let's squeak back to see if we can make it go away. So the two monkeys squeaked as loudly as they could. Eek! Eek! Listen, said Jip. Whoever it is is squeaking back. He squeaked again. Eek! Eek! Hello, said the pink kaplink. What are you two doing here? We were playing, said Jip, and we heard a funny noise, like this. Eek! That was me, replied the pink kaplink. I heard a funny noise too, like this. Eek! That was us, laughed Jamila. We've been playing hide and squeak with you, said Jip. Let's do it again, said the pink kaplink. And so they all played hide and squeak until it was time for tea. Now then, shall we go and see what's making your funny noises? <sighs> all right, let's go. I know what that is. There's your funny noise. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Roly. You're the moliest. <laughs> Good night, little Bo. Sleep tight. Well. It's been a sleepy day today. Yes, it's been a roly moly day. You will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio. Mm. One, two, three, four. Coming! Ready or not? <laughs> uh, where can Rebel be? <laughs> uh, Rebel, where are you hiding? Um, are you over here? No. <laughs> or are you over there? <laughs> <laughs> da, dum, da, da, dum, dum, da. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, oh, 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 Timbo! Uh, rocket! Zimbo! Oh, rocket! Oh, 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 oh. 
What have you got there? Well, it's a fishing rod. I made it myself with a stick and a piece of string. I'm going fishing. Cool! You can't catch me, you can't catch me. <laughs> well, you're not a fish, you're a frog. <laughs> now, shush. Here, fishy, fishy, come to Fimbo. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting the fimbling feeling. Yeah! I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. <laughs> oh, there is something to be found here. Is it here? No. Is it there? No. Oh, can you see it anywhere? Oh, I wonder. I wonder if I've caught something. He... Oh. <laughs> oh, I've got one. I've caught a fish. I've caught a fish. Oh, have you? <laughs> oh, come to Fimbo, you lovely big shoe. I've caught a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Funny looking fish, Fimbo. <laughs> no, it's not a fish, it's a shoe rocket. <laughs> what shall we do? Fimbo's caught a shoe. What shall we do? Fimbo's caught a shoe. <laughs> oh, I wish it was a fish. Oh, oh look, Pom, I've caught a shoe. Oh, hello, Shoe. Uh, shoe and Pom, please, Fimbo. Oh, all right. Um, oh, I wonder if it'll fit you, Pom. Here, let's try. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, Pom. It's too small for you. Oh, small. Oh, it's too small. Hmm. Oh, oh, I know, Pom. Why don't we go and get a crumble cracker? <laughs> Pom like crumble cracker. <laughs> Come on, Rocket. Hey, yippity, wait for me. <laughs> Fimbo! Pom! Where are you? Hmm. Oh, where are they, little one? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm getting the fimbling feeling. <laughs> I can feel a twinkling, I can hear a sound It's telling me there's something waiting to be found oh, There is something to be found here um, Oh, is it here? No Oh, or is it there? Oh, oh can you see it anywhere? Um, oh, <laughs> a fishing rod um, Oh Oh, it feels very heavy. I must have caught a fish! <laughs> hooray! Hooray! I've caught a big... shoe? <laughs> a shoe! <laughs> a shoe! A shoe! A water to do! A shoe! A shoe! Now what shall I do? <laughs> oh. oh, it's too small for me. <laughs> and it's too big for the little one. Oh, that's a nice shoe you've caught, Flory. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to catch a fish, but I caught a shoe with this fishing rod. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never. Have you caught the other shoe? Oh, the other shoe? Oh, yes, Flory. You see, shoes come in two. Oh, shoes come in twos. <laughs> <laughs> This boy is going to get some new shoes. He's having his feet measured to see how big his new shoes should be.
is going to have a little walk around to make sure the shoes feel all right. <laughs> he doesn't want those ones. <laughs> Oh, I like those. No, oh, he doesn't want those ones either. <laughs> <laughs> How about these blue sandals? Oh, he's saying he does want those. <laughs> Two new blue shoes. So if shoes come in twos, where is the other shoe to go with this shoe? <laughs> This way, Pom. I think we're about to find out. Oh, Thimbo! Sue! Sue! <laughs> I see you've caught something with my fishing rod, Flory. Oh, yes, it's a shoe. But Bessie says shoes come in twos. Guess what, Flory? What? I caught a shoe too. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yours is the same as mine. Oh, well, bless my beak and wings. A pair of shoes. Ah, Susan! Susan! But they don't fit you, Pom. <laughs> no! Susan! Susan! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Bimbo! Oh, Pom's going for a walk! Let's follow her! Uh, um, no, thanks. I haven't really got time for a walk. I've got to get back to my fishing. OK. Bye, Bimbo! Oh, bye! Here, fishy, fishy. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yum, bum, 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 bum. Dee, da, 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 da. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, Thimbo really wants to catch a fish. Fish, fish. Oh, Pom, you've just given me an idea. Huh? Let's make Thimbo a fish to catch. Oh. Oh, 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 can I draw around one of your shoes, please, Pom? Uh, yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. What's that, Flory? Oh, wait and see, Pom. <laughs> oh, do you know what this is? Uh, it's paper. Paper fish. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Pom. It's a paper fish. Now, all we have to do is make it look fishy! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Oh, da! Yeah! Oh, well done, Pom. <laughs> Hello, Pom. Hello, Flory. Uh, you look very busy. Oh, we're making a fish for Thimbo to catch. <laughs> Thimbo was fishing and caught a shoe. Then I caught the other shoe. So we've drawn around a shoe to make a fishy shape. Oh, I see. So you've made him a shoe fish. <laughs> shoe fish. <laughs> hmm. 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 Shoes. Oh, yes. This reminds me of a story. Ah, story, Rolly. <laughs> Back in a Rolly Mo. <laughs> books over here, books over there. Books, books everywhere. When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Come on, everyone, it's story time! <laughs> story, story! It's the story time of day. day. Time to 
to take a break from play. So settle down in your special chair. We'll sit here and you sit there. Dolly! Dolly! Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Elves and the Shoemaker. Once upon a time, there lived a shoemaker who was very poor. One night, he said to his wife, Here is the leather for one last pair of shoes. Tomorrow I will make them, and then we must shut up the shop. They went to bed very sadly. But next morning, there was a beautiful pair of shoes. Look at those tiny stitches, said the shoemaker. Who could have made them? I don't know, said his wife. But put the shoes in the window quick. Someone is sure to want to buy them. And they did. They paid so much money for them, the shoemaker bought enough leather for two more pairs of shoes. That night, he cut out the pieces, and next morning, there were two beautiful pairs of shoes. Soon he had sold so many shoes, they became very rich. But who was making them? One night, they hid in the shop to find out. And at midnight, in came two little elves. They hopped up onto the bench and sang and stitched until they had made two pairs of shoes. Then they danced out. Well, said the shoemaker, two little elves. And what's more, said his wife, those little elves didn't have any clothes. I'm going to make them some and you must make them some shoes. So the next night they laid out some tiny clothes and two tiny, tiny pairs of shoes. Oh, how surprised the elves were. They put on the clothes and danced all round the shop. Then they danced out of the door and were never seen again. But the shoemaker and his wife never forgot how the kind elves had helped them. Oh, that was a lovely story, Rolly. We've been busy with our shoes, just like the elves in the story. <laughs> yes, making your lovely shoe fish. <laughs> shoe fish! <laughs> Let's get our fish and put it in the play dips for Thimbo to catch. <laughs> Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, I just can't catch a fish, little one. Maybe I should wish for a fish. Wish, wish, wish. Hey, Thimbo, are you still fishing? Yes, still fishing. Caught any more shoes lately? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wished for a fish, but nothing's happened. Oh, then I'll wish for a fish too. Ahem. <clears throat> Wish for a fish, oh. wish for a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and hide. Yeah, come hide. Let's have another look, Fimbo. See if it's worked. Oh, all right. Um, here we go. Uh, oh, rocket. Rocket! I think I've really caught a fish. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, did you hear something? Uh, no, uh, uh, I'm too busy fishing. Um, uh, uh, you, oh, got it! Oh, look, Rocket, look! Oh, oh, wiggly woo, our wish has come true. I have got a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did hear something. It's coming from the tree. Hello, is anyone there? <laughs> I got my wish. I caught a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's a beautiful fish, Fimbo. Don't you think so? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn. More fish, more fish. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. <laughs> Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. <laughs> <laughs> 
your which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. <laughs> 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 Hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> it's very quiet today. I wonder where everyone is. Oh, oh, sorry, Migo. I didn't see you there. Of course you didn't. You can't see me at all. I'm invisible. Do you mean invisible? Oh, yes. I mean... Invisible! Oh, I see. Invisible, like no one can see you. That's right. But then how come I can see you? You can? <laughs> yes, I can. Hmm. Well, then maybe I didn't sing the magic song loud enough. <clears throat> this is my magic word! I'm gonna say it now! Snizzle me! Snoot! <laughs> Now you see me. Now you don't. Whee! <laughs> Miko? Come on, off we go. Whee! <laughs> you go! Migo! We, we go! Amigo! Let's a go go! go. Uh, what is it, Migo? You can't talk to me. You can't see me. I'm invisible! <laughs> uh, do you mean invisible? You're not very invisible. You're not even a little bit invisible. Oh, maybe I need to sing my magic song quietly. This is my magic word. I'm gonna say it now. Snazzle me, snoot. Now you see me. Now you don't. <laughs> Migo? Migo? Ooh. I wonder if Uncle Roly is in here. Hmm. He's not making a sandwich. And he's not making a cup of tea. And he's not washing up the dishes. I wonder where he can be. Hmm. <laughs> oh, hello there. And how are you today? I was just picking up my roly pin. I'm making scones for Little Bo's tea. But I wonder where she is. Oh, it's not like her to be late for tea. Well, better go and tidy myself up before she arrives. <laughs> Mustn't forget to switch out the light. Oh, dear. I can't find anyone anywhere. Perhaps my busy book will tell me where everyone is. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Flory! What are we going to do today, Flory? One, two, three. Three flower pots. There's something hiding behind the flower pot. Can you guess what it is? <gasps> Look, there's a handle. But what is it? It's a watering can. I wonder what's hiding behind that flower pot. They look like petals. What has lots of petals? It's got leaves too. Can you guess what it is? I think it's a flower. Yes, it is a flower. And I wonder what's hiding behind that flower pot. Something red. They look like fingers. <laughs> Can you guess what it could be? Is it a glove? Yes, it's a glove. 
a glove to wear in the garden. <laughs> Look. Thank you, Flory. See you again soon. Well, I found all those things, but I still can't find everyone else. Oh, look. I've left the bedroom light on, too. <gasps> Uncle Roly! Little Bo? I'm here, Uncle Roly. Oh, there you are, Little Bo. <laughs> yes, here I am. I thought you'd all disappeared. Like magic. Like magic? Yes. Everyone's disappearing today. <laughs> well, how about a disappearing story, then? Oh, yes, please, Uncle Roly. I'll be back in a Roly Mo. <laughs> story time with Roly Mo. My favourite time of day. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Boo! Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now, what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. One magic story, if you please. Ah, thank you. Uh, Migo? Migo! Oh, there you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Ow! Can you see me now? Yes. Ow! Now? Yes. Ow! Now? Yes. Ow! Now? No. <gasps> no? Yes. Oh. oh, come on, bro. I'll sing your magic song with you. This is your magic word. You're gonna say it now. Snazzle me snoot. <laughs> you could do magic. You're gonna show me how. Here are some of the things you do. If you could do my magic too. As many moly munchies I've left the living room lights on, too. Oh. Migo. Hugo? Can't see you, Migo. And I can't see you, Hugo. You know what that means. <gasps> We're invisible! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but, Migo. What is it, Hugo? I can't see anything. <gasps> that means... <gasps> We've made everything invisible. Oh, no! What are we going to do? Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. Hmm. The princess loved magic. She'd put on shows for her parents, the king and queen, and they'd cheer as she juggled, made coins appear from their ears, 
and pulled a rabbit out of a crown. So for the princess's birthday, the king and queen decided to give her a new magic book. She was thrilled and even more excited when they told her they'd arranged a party for her and invited all her friends. And even better, made her favorite cake, strawberry cheesecake. Mmm! But the princess wasn't allowed to eat anything until all the guests had arrived. Now, the princess wasn't known for her patience, but she had an idea. She opened up her new magic book and found a spell that would make her invisible. She said the magic words and poof! She was invisible. It was such fun. The princess did all the things she'd always wanted to do in the castle and had never been allowed to. She whizzed down the marble banisters without being told off. She roller skated through the grand ballroom and no one lectured her. And she even tickled the king. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo, he giggled. I wonder who did that. Then the princess sneaked into the party room and picked up the strawberry cheesecake. Mmm, she said. But just as she was about to have a bite, the queen walked in and saw the slice of cake floating and screamed, Oh! And all the guests ran off too. The poor princess sat down. She was sad. Now she'd never have a party. All her guests had run away. She called out, but no one heard her. Luckily, the king was passing by. What's wrong, princess? he asked, looking in the wrong direction. I'm over here, wailed the princess, and I'm stuck being invisible and now my party's ruined. The king smiled and pulled out her magic book and found the invisible spell. He said some more magic words, waved his hands and poof, the princess was back. Oh, thank you, father, she cheered. And I promise I'll never make anything invisible again. What about this cheesecake? All the guests came back and helped make the cheesecake disappear, and the princess had the best birthday ever. Mmm, all that talk of cheesecake has made me hungry. This is our magic word. Oh, shall we go and see what they're up to? Yes, let's! <laughs> Snazzle me! Snoot! <laughs> Miko! <gasps> we did it! What did you do? We did magic. Everything disappeared. You made everything disappear, Migo. Well, <coughs> not all on my only only. <laughs> Hugo helped a little bit. Oh, good teamwork, Snoots. Now, can you help me make something else disappear? What's that, Rolly? A big plate of moly munchies. Oh, uh, yes, yes, please! Oh, haven't we all had a magical day today? Yes, it's, it's been, been a roly moly day! <laughs> you will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio!